Well, hello once again, and welcome to Unstoppable Mindset. Today, we get to do something a little bit different, something we haven't done a lot, although when we do it, it's kind of fun, and that is we have more than one guest on the podcast today. <laughs> Several months ago, we had a guest on, Garrett Tomasek, who is involved with Best Buddies in the United States. And if you listened to that episode, you had a chance to learn about Best Buddies. And he was introduced to us by Sheldon Lewis here at Accessibility. Well, along the way, Sheldon also introduced us, introduced us, if I could talk, I'd be in great shape, but introduced us <laughs> to Jessica Rotolo and Dorlene Rotolo and Lauren Abella. Lauren is a best buddy. Jessica is a best buddy of Lauren's. And we also have, um, as I said, um, other people involved in this whole thing, specifically Dorlene, who is Jessica's mom. She prefers to be called her momager. And we're <laughs> going to talk all about that. But Jessica is involved in a lot of different events. Jessica is a model. She's an actress. She does a variety of different kinds of things. And she was born with Down syndrome. So we're going to talk about all of that. And we're going to talk about best buddies and do whatever it is that we need to do to make this a fun time. So sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. And I think I'm going to start with Jessica and say welcome to Unstoppable Mindset. How are you? Yes, I'm great. I'm great, Michael. And well, I Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. I am 25 years old, and I live in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and I was born with Down syndrome, and right here is a buddy of mine, a peer buddy who I love. Lauren, uh, Jessica's <laughs> hugging me right now. I'm Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom, who I live with. Yes. Hug your mom, too. And I'm getting hugs right now, too. <laughs> Okay, just checking. Yeah, the best part of being Jessica's mom is the amount of hugs we get. Yes. <laughs> well, that's kind of. I once said on a documentary she did that she should be a professional hugger. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that yes. was called Employable Me. And that was when um, I was looking for a job. And um, they helped me actually get a job at Malabar, the costume rental store. And what else did they do? And they also helped me get my art into. Christmas cards. Cool. So do you have a job today? Uh, today, I do. I actually work at my preschool, mm -hmm. Centennial Infant and Child Center. Ah, okay. I am a path forward classroom assistant there because I went to um, Centennial when I was a kid. A baby. A baby. Yeah. A baby. Well, that's kind of cool. Well, Lauren, let's welcome you also to Unstoppable Mindset. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, nervous, but <laughs> excited. <laughs> don't be nervous. No need to be I nervous. Don't you don't nah. like you. <laughs> Never. Just, just food. And <laughs> humans are not food. So, no. Yeah. Well, Lauren, tell us a little bit about you kind of growing up. Why don't you start us off with that? Um, we learned already a little bit about Jessica. She's 25 and she was born with Down syndrome. We'll come back to that. But tell us about you, Lauren. Yeah, so I, I was born um, normally developing. Uh, I, have a, I have a twin brother and two older sisters, born and raised here in Ontario, Canada. And I first got involved in high school with Best Buddies in the um, 11th grade. So halfway into my career, and I haven't left since. So. <laughs> <laughs> How did you discover Best Buddies? So I know that the club had a presence around my high school, and they would often host events and have tables set up during club fairs, and they would uh, have bake sales. So within those first uh, couple of years, I you know, was getting familiar with the organization. And then finally, in the 11th grade, they were recruiting people for to join the club. And then after that, I was like, you know, why not? <laughs> what's what's stopping me from joining and just and making new friends? So that was why I wanted to go and join and was that hope of making new friends. And here I am today. So incredibly yes. blessed <laughs> to have met my truly lifetime best friend, Jessica. Yes. And I started um, Best Buddies in grade nine of high school. Um, and I've been in Best Buddies for 10 plus years 
And it's been a fun ride <laughs> through it all. <laughs> well, how did you discover Best Buddies? We heard how Lauren did, but Jessica, how did you discover Best Buddies? I actually heard about it from a teacher um, in um, class that um, Lily Chang was her, is her name, and uh, she told everyone about it, and I said, "Oh, I'll join." And I heard of, I joined, and I loved it ever since. And now, Lily, Lily how Chang brought it to to Hayden Park? Yeah, yeah, she brought it to Hayden Park, You're, my high school. Yeah. How close in age are you two, Lauren and Jessica? Well, I'm 25 and Lauren is 22. Turned so, okay. in a couple months. Yeah. All right. So so you um I'm how older. old how old were you, Jessica, when you were in the ninth grade and started 14. being in best? You were four. Okay, my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So you started well before Lauren. How did you guys meet and become best buddies? So we met when I went to Humber College, when I went there, and um, I, she called Best Buddies Canada, and she wanted to join, she wanted to uh, start up a Best Buddies group up there, and I called Best Buddies Canada, and I said that I wanted to um, start up Best Buddies up there as well. So Best Buddies Canada basically put us together, and and uh, we met uh, first at Humber at the Starbucks there, and uh, we decided to start up a Best Buddies chapter. Yeah. And Michael, just to add on to that, if uh, you know, if you know, just to share some background information, Best Buddies Canada is quite a small leadership team. So we had reached out to different people within the organization, and yes. then in office, they were like, "Hey." Someone from Humber reached out. Yeah, someone from the University of Guelph Humber reached out. Yeah. And so it was the team over at Best Base Canada, uh, Deanna and Vicky, who connected yes. Jessica and I together. Yes. And the university and the college are right beside each other. They are, yes. So, <clears throat> so, so I went to Humber College and she went to Guelph Humber University. University. Right. So did you um, get a college degree, Jessica? <laughs> Well, I was in the uh, CICE program there, and that is a two-year program for people with special needs, like me and other people who have autism and other... Any special needs. Any special needs. Any special needs, yeah. And it's a two-year program. Yeah, it's a two-year program, and I was in person for a little bit, and then COVID happened. And I was online, which I did not like. Yeah. Yeah. But I also did um, a documentary in 2018 called Employable Me. And that's when I got the job and the cards. Mm -hmm. But they also said that I was eligible to graduate two years before 2015. And that meant that if I graduated then, I would have gone to Humber College in person, all throughout. Yeah, you're just. But then I don't think you would have met Lauren. Yeah, yeah. So it was meant to be. But it was meant to be. But, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then I went. I deferred it for a year, and then I met Lauren. Yeah, it worked out. It. Yeah. And so, did you go back to college and finish, or? <laughs> well, I deferred it for a year, and then right. I went to Humber what, in 2019. I think a little. She got accepted, but then she deferred the, the acceptance for one year because right. she had a number of things she was doing. So then she went to college for the two-year program. Okay. The second year was COVID. So yeah, she was. Jessica, I can't uh, imagine. What if you had beat me to starting the chapter? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would have just joined your chapter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Well, so after COVID, so you haven't gone back and finished your second year yet? No, no, I'm done now. Oh, no, you finished. She finished it online. Online. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then yeah. I graduated online as well. Cool. So you virtually walked across the stage and got your diploma. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so Darlene, tell us about you a little bit, um, kind of your life growing up and then certainly um, having the opportunity to be with Jessica and being a mom and all that, this has obviously been 
different for you than probably what you expected. Oh, absolutely. I um, I grew up in Saskatchewan, rural farming community. My father was uh, a farmer, my mother a nurse, and, you know, had a, a lovely life in, uh, in Saskatchewan, and then moved to the mountains. And then after when I was living in Banff, I decided I wanted to move out to Ontario. So I moved here and luckily met my husband. And, you know, we had Jessica and um, it certainly was uh, a shock, like most families, when you have um, um, a surprise that you weren't expecting. Um, and uh, but we wouldn't uh, change Jessica in any any possible way. She is a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> yes. And the Down syndrome has not stopped her from leading an unbelievable nope. life. Um, I, I can I, do anything anyone else can do. Yeah, she's very, very accomplished young lady. And we're incredibly proud of her. And uh, um, my first time that actually I went to a hotel, uh, to a, uh, an event in Vaughan, which is north of Ontario, and I didn't know it, but it was a Best Buddies event that was being put on. And I remember having a t-shirt from it that I eventually just gave away because I'm like, I don't know why I have this t-shirt anymore. And then lo and behold, when Jessica um, signs up for Best Buddies, I'm like, oh my gosh, I should have kept that t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Well, so do you have other children? Yes, we have one daughter. Uh, her name is Bobby, and she's doing her PhD in uh, Waterloo, um, Ontario, and very proud of her. She started her PhD when she was 22 years old, mm. and that's in public health. And uh, yeah, she's doing very accomplished young woman as well. Jessica, are you going to go get a PhD? <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> but I want to do um, a makeup course. Mm -hmm. So I want to um, learn Everything to know there is about makeup. Well, when you go into her bedroom, it's Sephora in there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So she's got everything I have there. Tons of makeup. True. Well, to well, to tell people a little bit about Jessica, Jessica is a model. She's an artist, self-advocate, actor, and dancer. And you have performed in a variety of different kinds of things. And I do want to get to all that. But the point is that you are definitely doing a lot of stuff. So maybe a PhD isn't in your future and that's okay. Uh, or you yeah. might decide down the line that you want to be more of an academic, but that's probably a whole lot more boring than being an artist and a dancer. And especially <laughs> I speak from experience being a self-advocate. Yeah. 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 So you. I am a, a self-advocate for Down syndrome and best buddies. Mm -hmm. And alopecia. And alopecia because in 2014, I was on a pill for sleep disorders, and I um, it caused alopecia. Yeah, it triggered it, alopecia. It triggered tell alopecia, tell us about loss. that. Tell us what that is. Hair, alopecia is hair loss. So I was completely bald from head to toe. Mm -hmm. Like hair, eyebrows, lashes, everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. And then so we... And after nine months um, from the pill, Jessica passed out. So we took the took her off the pill. And then within eight months, her hair started growing back. Yep. Mm. Um, but then there were still patches that were not um, coming back. So Jessica was would go to Sunnybrook Hospital. Yes. And every and three months. And the dermatologist uh, there, we did 50, 30 to 50 um steroid injections in my head and eyebrows mm -hmm. and that did not work every three months and then very luckily Pfizer came out with a yes. trial test pill which Jessica was accepted to yes. um, three and a half years ago and so she's been going to a dermatologist and she's on that yeah. and it's grown her hair to 32 inches long Woo! wow yeah. And growing. And, <laughs> and growing. <laughs> and growing with the pill. Yeah. And now we're doing a uh, documentary on my hair growth, hair loss and hair growth journey. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll be cutting my hair off at shoulder length. And um, I'll be donating my hair as a wig to someone who has alopecia. Mm -hmm. So Continental Hair is where Jessica bought a um, number of wigs when she had her hair loss. And they are graciously part of the documentary with Sunnybrook Hospital. 
and they will, um, Michael Suba, his name is, and he will be donate, uh, making a wig out of Jessica's hair that will be donated to a young woman uh, yeah. who is suffering from alopecia. So, oh, that's, that is pretty cool. Yeah. And she's getting her haircut when? Uh, uh, Sunday. <laughs> we're taping this weekend. Yeah, we're taping this weekend. Yeah. yeah. And what's the, the, what's the new documentary going to be about? Well, Jessica's hair loss and regrowth journey. Yeah. Okay. And when will that be released? Um, we're know? looking at for spring. So okay. spring next year. Yeah, because we'd like to enter it into TIFF and all the film festivals and then also put it into the educational system. Yes. So it's a, it'll be a 12 to 15 minute documentary. Yeah. So we're very excited about it. We have a wonderful director named Scott Drucker, who is is doing all the filming. Love him. Yeah. I also did a couple of uh, public service announcements with, uh, him. with him as mm-hmm. well. And that's how we know him. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we know him. And that him. was for the Down Syndrome. No, um, Canadian Down Syndrome Society. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. So, so um, Darlene, what has Best Buddies meant for you? Um, clearly, um, and I know that Jessica and Lauren have thoughts about that, and we can talk about that, but I'm curious. What does it really mean for you? Well, the biggest thing for me was friendship. Um, When Jessica joined, the friends that she made and still has connected with is unbelievable. Um, They are women that now are doctors or going to medical school. Um, They are all very accomplished young women, and they still keep in touch with Jessica. So to me, it's friendship. This is what Best Buddies really is. for, for our family. And, but mm-hmm. also it's the, it's to the, it's given Jessica so many unbelievable opportunities to become a leader. They, they have given her so many different ways where she can just shine and, and, yeah. um, and, and be that leader that we knew was in there um, yes. because I, she hasn't gotten it from other, other places, associations, but best buddies has yes. just let her shine. I've been to two, um, Leadership conferences in Toronto, Canada, mm-hmm. twice. One was a sleepover and one was a day thing. Mm-hmm. And what were the leadership conferences about or what did you accomplish there? Um, basically, how to make new friends um, and learning how to speak in front of large crowds. Well, there you go. And be an advocate. Yes, yeah. and, and be an advocate. Yeah. Yeah. So, Lauren, do you go to, on any of these events with Jessica? Yes. So uh, my first one, similar to Jessica's story, was in high school. So before we had met. But, you know, just over the summer, we went to the International Leadership yes, Conference. we did. And that was actually our first one in person. Yeah. First one Where was that? that? In Indiana. Oh. Bloomington, Indiana. Yeah, Bloomington. So in the U.S. I have, I have close friends who live in Bloomington. Oh, it's beautiful. It is. Oh, yes. we could not believe how stunning it was. Just yeah. loved every minute because Joe and I went as well. Yeah. And uh, we, we had a mini vacation while they were off working and getting up at six in the morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got up at <laughs> six a.m. Oh, just, just gonna make sure I was up on time. I mean, yeah. well, long days, but so memorable. Yeah. See, days, see, this yeah. is where I know Best Buddies is is a miracle um, organization <laughs> because there's never. A day that Jessica would get up at 6 a.m. I morning. would not get up at 6 a.m. in the morning. Well, you know, that's how actresses are. They like to sleep late. Oh, yeah. 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 I like to sleep in. And then they party day. till 11, 1130 at night. So Or later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so well, <there's> sleep. <laughs> so, so, Jessica, um, you are doing a lot of different things with acting and art and so on. Why and how did you start all of that? And how young were you when you started that? Um, I believe I started this, um, my art and everything, when I was like four, I think. Well, or tell, two. Them, tell them who taught you how to do. So Jessica's signature is a heart. Tell them yes, who taught you my your heart. heart is to my draw. signature. And my my aunt, actually, Auntie Bev. my aunt, Auntie Bev, taught me how to make an M first. And then a V at the bottom. And connect. Mm. And connect it. And connect yeah. them. Make a heart. To make a heart. But now I do it all myself. Yeah. Now. So what open. kind of art do you do? Hearts. Art. Okay, hearts. Big hearts. And then also people. Female and male. 
And what kind of art is it? Is it just drawing or painting or what? Painting, mainly. May okay. Can show you one of Jessica's pieces of art? Well, um, for those who can see the podcast, because a lot of people are going to be listening to this, but if you want to show one, I don't see a problem. Well, you know, the, the unique thing about Jessica's hearts is that she divides them into little squares and colors. Yes. them, so they're very, very colorful. Yeah. And um, and very um, intricate, yeah. I would say. They take up her about 40 to 50 hours to do one of her. I was just going to ask that. Yeah. So 40 <laughs> or 50 hours to, to do one, huh? Are, yeah. uh, do you do you oil paint or what? Uh, no, acrylic paint. Acrylic. Okay. Yes. So like on the canvas. Now, when she first started out, it was crayons. It was crayons. Well, that's fair. Like a pencil crayon. Yeah. And then I introduced her to the acrylic paint. When she got older, yes. and uh, yeah, they're they're a work of art. And she's yeah. Our, our prime minister has one. Yes. Um, uh, Dancer mm -hmm. International has one. Well, yeah. we gave twenty four away to yes, a World Dance Syndrome Day event that we did on March twenty first. So yes. many people have Jessica's wonderful heart. And then when I started acting, I believe it was um, fifteen. I think. With a drum away. Oh, you were 14 when you did 14. Drum away. Thank you. Yeah, I was 14. Um, and I loved it ever since. That you call them your second family. Yeah. And what do you do with drum away? What are the classes? Uh, yeah, what, they, tell us about drum away. Classes yeah. are drama, which are, are is like group A, group B, mm -hmm. uh, Mississauga, um, West, Scarborough. Mm -hmm. east everywhere number of, uh, number of classes for drama there's songwriting which i love the most <laughs> um that one is where you write your own songs as a group as a group yeah yes and then dance dancing i love dancing and dancing i started when i was 16 16 yeah when with drama away you it did it when you were younger, drama away, but, but yeah. how old was when you were little or yeah you started like with ballet you were three years old three years old i started dancing mm -hmm. wow so you've been doing it a while needless to say which is yes. certainly cool and you've been dancing um so drama um what kind of drama do you do today um we do a lot of plays like um the last play that we did was the very first play that Drum Away ever did, Wizard of Oz. Which was 22 years ago. Yes. And I was the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> and did you oh, say yeah. the big line, I'll get you my pretty and your little dog too? <laughs> I, I did not. <laughs> but originally I was going to. And what did you say instead? I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember your line? Don't remember it. <laughs> okay. Oh, what, what, what was her line? I forgot. <laughs> oh, see, there you go. Then, then don't talk to her about forgetting lines. <laughs> yeah, I forgot it. But um, that was the past play that we just did. You just did that one, huh? Yeah, we just did that one. Now, I am curious. Um, our Plays like that recorded? Do they, does anybody make videos of them? Are they available? Yes. Yeah. yes, they're all recorded and you can get them online. Yeah, at dramaway. At dramaway.com. Yeah. And they're wonderful yes. because it's everybody, um, everybody that is uh, in an actor, all everybody has special needs. Yes. And, I was um, just going to ask that, yeah. Then from verbal to nonverbal, yep. and, and Danielle Sternod, who is the um, executive producer, director, and co-founder, co -found co she um, she has that everybody has an amazing role, and the costumes, the props are Everything. unbelievable. Yeah, her staff. What do you think about the staff of drama? Love Life? them. Yeah, I miss a couple of them though because some of them. Are had to move on. Had to yeah. move yeah. on. Yeah, but it's an incredible organization. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Yeah. And so you're an ambassador for Drama Way. Too. I am. Yeah. yeah, I'm also an ambassador for Drama Way. Tell me about that, please. Yeah. 
I love being an ambassador for Jamoy just because um, I have these a, a card for being an ambassador, and I could just give one out to any yeah. peop- any per- and any so people. And so, if Danielle needs a spokesperson or um, anybody wants to be inter- interviewing about Drama Way, Jessica's asked to yes. represent Drama Way. Um, yeah. So, so, Lauren, how are you and Best Buddies involved with what Jessica's doing with Drama Way, or are you? Other than obviously supporting. Yeah, so I actually really had an amazing time watching uh, Jessica's play, The Wizard of Oz, this year. And yes. It was spectacular. So I really, really enjoyed just showing up, uh, supporting, watching. It was uh, really a really nice time because of all the laughs and how um, serious everyone takes their role. Like It was a honestly professional production, mm-hmm. yeah. needless to say. So, yeah. and I know um, Best Buddies and Drumway, they don't have a direct connection at the moment, no. but nothing that we can't start yeah. one day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Well, if there's so- anything I've learned from Jessica is that, you know, if you want to do something, go ahead and do it. Yeah. <laughs> and actually yeah. we did a lot of other plays and yeah. um, actually some of them were copied onto DVDs. Yeah instead of like online and there are other um actors or performers that are part of the best buddies um organization as well yes yes but best buddies has been incredible um especially i you know the the well you can tell them what were you with you and lauren the first canadian oh yes we actually we are the first uh canadian buddy best buddy pair to be a to be the um, Best Buddies Global Ambassadors. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and actually, this is the top for the ambassadors. I'm yeah. wearing a purple collared shirt that they gave us at the international conference this year. Which says Best Buddies Ambassador. Yes. And then, Jessica, you're wearing which shirt? I'm wearing my um, Best Buddies Canada top. And it has the logo uh, in white yes. over a solid red T-shirt. Yeah. What does the logo look like, if you would, Lauren? Oh. Um, it's actually, um, uh, the logo is two people um, putting their arms, their arms like this around each other. Around each other. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. like, a side like, like this doesn't work very well, Jessica, because most people aren't going to see this. They're going to hear it. And actually, I got this top at the, um, uh, the 20th year um, leadership conference. Cool. So for you, um, Lauren, I just, Michael sure. I just may say the the gentleman um, that um, he his name is Keith Herring, and he's a contemporary artist um, in the world, and he create created and donated the Best Buddies logo for yes. Anthony Kennedy Shriver. Wow! They were, they were went to university together. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So that's who de- developed the logo. Yeah. So Lauren, what is your favorite thing about having Jessica as a as a best buddy and a best friend? Do I have to pick just one, Michael? Like really? <laughs> <laughs> That's impossible. Then yeah. do two. You have like five hours. Um, there's a lot of stuff to list. Yeah. But certainly the key one that like stood out as soon as we met the first day was just your confidence. Yeah. Like, and how you approach life. And it's definitely learned a lot from you yeah. <laughs> still learning each day of how you can just Jessica, the, how you can just take on challenges and be like, you know what? I deserve to be here and I'm going to own it. Whatever you're doing. If you're standing in front of a hundred thousand people, like, yeah. you're, you're going to own it. I believe that. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely. just. Well, I actually um, did um, something called mushroom ball. Mm-hmm. I know I, for, for special for Olympics, special Olympics Canada. Canada. Mm-hmm. I auditioned, which I really, uh, I did a, a audition tape, which I technically really didn't need to because I was in already. Um, but I auditioned like um, my little skit and then I I won, and um, which I didn't plan on. <laughs> And um, I got to uh, perform at the gala in front of how many people? 2,500. 2,500 people. Did you start? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I loved it. Mm-hmm. I don't get nervous whatsoever. Yeah. And a very interesting fact 
fact is that so Anthony Kennedy Shriver started special um started Best Buddies. Yeah. In what like, 1989. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And his aunt and mother started Special Olympics. Right. So he comes from a fabulous lineage of people that just give to the world yep. and, and especially people with special needs. So they're extra special. They have an extra special yes. place in our heart, don't they? Yeah. Yep. They really do. Well, I think, Lauren, you've probably kind of answered this, but I'm going to ask it anyway. What has Jessica taught you that you can take away as a life lesson? Yeah, so something I've been sharing with different high schools I've visited for my school, um, as that's my new job after graduating from university, I now go around to different high schools in Ontario recruiting people for the University of Guelph Humber. Uh, and I, I include this part in my speech because I really want others to have a similar friendship story if they can, and if they can join Best Buddies or start their own chapter. Um, and that's that, you know, how to be accepted for who you are, because Jessica accepts me for who I am and how to love with all of your heart. So I really, really appreciate Jessica for those two very big. Well, and I think that's extremely important. They're giving each other a very big hug right now. What do you (laughs) think, what, what do all of you think that best buddies can teach the world and how can we get more people to pay attention to the lesson? Um, well, from a parent's perspective, sure, that my child can do anything like anybody else. It may take her a little bit longer, yeah. but she can do anything. And she just needs to be given the chance um, from a job to being a friend. Just give them the opportunity because they deserve it. They're part of our planet. And yeah. and they're you know, we were made by all made by our, you know, who we believe in. If you're, if it's God, it's whoever you believe in. We were all made um, together to live on this planet and we each deserve, you know, that opportunity just to live a wonderful, wonderful life and best buddies absolutely does that. It does. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, while Jessica and Lauren in their various ways are ambassadors, it sounds like, so are you, do you go out and give speeches and talk to the public? No, no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, she no. was on the documentary and played with me with me. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to do that. But no, I, I don't. I just I'm behind the scenes making sure that when Jessica's there, um, everything's done for her or we work together to do it. Yeah. But you know, I'm I'm her taxi. I'm her <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with us, not for us. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah exactly. with us, not for us. That's, That's the uh the theme for uh World Down Down Syndrome Day 2023 was yeah just it was you know help me don't do it for me help me let me let me show you that I can do it too I may need help but just and that's you know it was World Down Syndrome Days again their theme um yeah it was wonderful and I was also um bullied in the past like as a little baby and as a little kid and now Best Buddies really helped me uh, make new friends. Yeah. And that's feel accepted. That is clearly great and a good thing. And, um, and having a a good friend like Lauren is, is always a, a valuable thing. I think for, for anyone, Lauren, you got your degree in psychology. You're going to continue on and go further with that. Yes. Um, I do want to pursue further education, hopefully become a psychotherapist and then maybe a psychologist down the road. Um, but you know, I haven't shared yet, but Jessica and our friendship um, influenced my thesis topic, thesis research paper for my um, fourth year. I just wrote it. And that mm-hmm. was on Down syndrome acceptance, changing attitudes through interventions. So it was measuring um, quantitatively whether a short video, uh, just sharing more about people with Down syndrome of all different ages, genders, in, in uh, jobs and careers, and how capable that they are. And it did find um, a positive relationship between education and acceptance attitudes. So if there is any advice that I can give people, it's to be open to learning and to ask questions and approach people with um, a positive and open heart. 
you know, there's enough hate in this world. Don't yeah. don't spread more from yourself. Yeah. There's too much hate in this world, actually. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Well, you know, so um, we've we've heard a lot about Jessica's leadership and so on, and mom in the background. But you've taken on leadership roles in Best Buddies and elsewhere. Why did you do that? And what what was the inspiration to make that happen? Yeah. Um, well, I know I mentioned to you how. Um, I joined the student union with my university, Ignite, and that was wanting to make clubs more accessible for students to join, seeing the positive impact of best buddies on the school. And um, I just wanted to give back in that way. And like Jessica taught me, take action, you know, <laughs> don't wait for someone else to do it. If there's something you want changed and then be that difference you want to see in the world. So that's how I approach these leadership opportunities. And it's certainly, you know, really definitely a credit, Jessica, to many of my accomplishments, yeah. uh, including um, the, the award that my school gave me. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. Because we yeah. were. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, when when you're a best buddy with someone, um, so Jessica is your best buddy and and um, probably more relevant to ask it this way. Um, do you have more than one best buddy or do you stick with oh. one person and devote all your time to that? I have lots of buddies. I have like eight buddies now since high school. Mm -hmm. But it, how many do you have at one time? Um, one at a time. One at a time. So Lauren, same for you? Yes. So the beauty of the organization is that for each year or semester, depending on how the chapter organizes it, you are matched with just one person typically, um, hoping yeah. hoping that the numbers do line up. And the goal is to, during that one year of commitment, foster a friendship to last a lifetime. So that's what happened to Jessica yes. and I. So it was mean, yes. But when I was in high school, yes, it was like I had four buddies mm -hmm. um, from that chapter. Mm -hmm. One each year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Or what? Someone put a couple of years because you were there for seven years. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Okay. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I actually know the names as well. Tiffany, Soha, Chloe, Grace, Lauren, Mary Louise from TMU, mm -hmm. Anitha from mm -hmm. TMU, and now Priyanka from TMU. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, you and so the two of you, Lauren and um, Jessica are not in the organization's definition best buddies. You're best buddies for life anyway, but yes. you have you have different best buddies as best buddies in the organization. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, how it is organized is that students with an intellectual or developmental disability are classified as a best buddy. Yeah. And those without uh, an IDD. Is uh, a peer buddy. Yes. So those uh, one peer buddy is matched with one best buddy each year. And, you know, you can request to be with a person sometimes. It, it really, it differs chapter to chapter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we actually request, I requested her to be the the first buddy pair of our chapter. And, and the unique thing is Humber is that you have to be a student to be uh, yes. uh, in the, in the or, um, organization, the yeah. chapter, but at TMU. At TMU, you the buddies don't have to be a student. Yeah. And the peer buddies have to be a student. Yeah. Yeah. And cool. so community living has come where they have. Uh, FST. FS, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. FST has come and helped us find yeah. the buddies and peer buddies. Mm -hmm. So different best buddies chapters, especially at the uh, university slash college level, will partner with the community organization to recruit uh, the best buddies from. Whereas we at Humber were very lucky to have students in the CIC yes. program that we could recruit directly from. Which mm -hmm. I helped with because I was in that program. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which, which you, does you, help. You became the largest club in at, yeah. at the school, didn't you? I, I want to believe so. <laughs> <laughs> you have an yeah, amazing were. amount of people come. It was, it was wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they so, had great events. So what kind of events, um, I think we've heard some of the things that 
that Jessica has done, but uh, and and obviously Darlene. But Lauren, what kind of events have you done with Best Buddies, or is it sort of similar to what Jessica has already told us? <laughs> um, honestly, I think the events that Jessica mentioned herein are just all of her personal accomplishments. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah. I, I can't, if you're expecting me to top that, Michael, ask someone else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm not trying to top it. It's okay. Yeah, Lauren's yeah. being very shy here because <laughs> without Lauren, it, it was, it was a group, uh, you know, an effort yeah. between the two of them. They're a partnership. <clears throat> so without each other, the club certainly would not have been successful nope. uh, as it was, but also the support that Best Buddies Canada gave them was really wonderful. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Deanna is just oh, her. Oh, so I know, isn't of, she amazing and some of the events that Deanna allowed us to participate in include the ascot yeah uh, yes which was an annual fundraiser so jessica and i have volunteered yeah. with that event uh we've gone to the blue jays game yes. um free tickets from best buddies canada the blue yeah. Jays yeah. Yeah. The, yeah the jays care foundation you went into the box mm -hmm. and sat in the box amazing yes yeah um, where else have we done? We've watched the Champions movie in yeah. in the theater in Toronto. Yeah, yeah. done that. You've also mm -hmm. could um, you've had um, um, dance evenings at the uh, at the school. You've had um, friendship walks, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We did. Um, you I guys did the Bell also, Let's Talk Day. You were yes. part of that with Best Buddies. Yes, we also did the uh, friendship dance mm -hmm. thing. But that, that was my high school yeah. chapter. Mm -hmm. And I came in second in the dance off. <laughs> so, so Jessica, uh, do you do social media at all? Yes. Well, we both do actually. Yeah, what do you do for we best do um tell us about Instagram that lives. I'm sorry, say that again. We do Instagram lives together. Tell together. us about that. Buddies. It's really fun. Yes. Maybe I can share how it started, which sure. Uh, came about because of COVID. Uh, it was hard to connect with people. And I'm not sure if it was at us or Best Buddies Canada that reached out to, mm -hmm. I think they reached out to us and yeah. they suggested that we go live on their Instagram, just sharing a skill. And it became almost a weekly thing for us. <laughs> yeah. And so, I believe our first uh, Instagram live, we did a makeup tutorial. We did, yeah. yeah. So we've done anywhere from makeup to baking, cooking, yes. uh, walks outside, yeah. fashion. Yeah. <laughs> And also the uh, conference. Yeah, we went live at the conference too for those that couldn't uh, make it as it was quite far. We wanted people yes. to have um, share in our, in our experience. So highly, highly recommend every person to go to a leadership conference at least yes. once in their life. Yeah. yeah well, I did three yes. times. And, and times. Who, who were some of the people that were at the conference in Indiana? Famous people that you got to meet. Um, Miss Teen Miss USA, Miss Teen USA. Mm -hmm. Garen Flowers. Yes, him. Garen Flowers. Um, and the champions cast, the movie mm -hmm. champions, the cast mm -hmm. there. But um a couple of them are Best Buddies ambassadors as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, it was one it, that was wonderful. You guys had perfect weather. Yes, it was yeah. perfect yeah. weather. It was so nice. Mm -hmm. It was so hot out there. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so, um, Darlene, are you strictly behind the scenes or are you an ambassador for Best Buddies or do you take on any kind of roles? I'm behind the scenes, Michael. <laughs> strictly behind you don't want to be out in the open at all, huh? <laughs> no, I'm behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm I'm the momager. And uh, yeah, I just make sure that, you know, whatever Jessica needs, um, you know, from whatever, right? you know, helping her with uh, what she's going to wear for an event to getting her there safely, making sure she has, um, you know, nourishment and drinks. Um, yeah. yeah, it's, I, I, I'm just, yeah, strictly behind the scenes, which I is for me. Except I love for that. one time. Employable me. Yeah, well, I know that's but she not was for on best camera buddies. for that. I know, but for best buddies, for best buddies, I'm just best buddies but, you know when Jessica when Jessica except for uh, my Hayden Park chapter for that she was a part of it as well. Yeah, so what I did with when Jessica was at Hayden Park Secondary yeah. School, which we is the only all girls school in the public, um, the Toronto. A district public school board. Yes, and, and we had a amazing. chapter with another school, UTS. UTS. Yeah, and so they were a distance away. So I would 
drive with our van and I would take two trips for the girls to load into the van and drive them over so they didn't uh because it, it was too far for them to walk so it was really nice that they got to go to the other school instead of always having it the uh, event at their school at their yeah. school yeah 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 one thing to jump in um that parents can do um in terms of supporting best buddies is actually to advocate to the um staff at their school if there isn't a chapter to ask for them mm -hmm. to be started one. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing that we want to encourage family members and supporters. So if you know of um, a friend or your child who has a disability and there isn't a Best Buddies chapter to reach out to the, pres the principal, <laughs> the vice yeah. principal and to see if one can be started. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then they just need one of the teachers would be, you know, be the contact yes. um, with, uh, with, the school but it depends if it's at a high school versus a university level yeah because if it's a university level did you need a teacher at the no, university no. level yeah no you we didn't. need we we're students just yeah. ourselves yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> students at university student club. college level mm -hmm. and then high school it was oh, teachers and elementary level so we do have best buddies chapters in elementary ah. schools as well same process in the u.s and in canada um, well, similar. So you just reach out to your state supervisor in terms of the states or in Canada, reach out to Best Buddies Canada office uh, and they will be able to provide support on next steps and how to move forward. Mm -hmm. So um, since it's come up, we might as well deal with it. If people want to reach out, how do they figure out where their local Best Buddies office is or reaching out to their state or whatever? How do they do that? You can go online at bestbuddies.com. Yes. Yes. And then there you can find um, contacts and what chapters are currently available to be joined based on your geographic location. Yes. And but do chat. Yep. .org. They're very. Oh, .org. Org. So what is it? Bestbuddies.org. Bestbuddies .org. Yeah. Org. yeah. yeah. That, that makes sense. It would be a nonprofit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And do yeah, all exactly. Best Buddies chapters pretty much do the same thing with the same kinds of people? So you deal primarily with intellectual disabilities, not all physical disabilities? So there are intersecting disabilities. Uh, however, the Best Buddies main audience are those with intellectual and developmental disabilities. It doesn't yeah. exclude anyone. Everyone is welcome to join. It just depends um, on the, the matching system. But there's also the associate member position where yes. you don't have to be matched. You can just attend events as you please um, to enjoy in the fun and make people meet people um, across the whole chapter as well. Yes, and that's what we are right now. Mm. And how, are lar how large is Best Buddies in Canada now? Uh, well, <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, chapter was in 1993 um and that was the um york yeah. university campus yeah campus. chapter but how many there are in the in canada i really don't know that number me neither but it's there's a lot of chapters there's lots and you say it started in 1993 yes yeah, uh -huh. york, york, york university was the first in, ever chapter it's just north of toronto uh-huh so I can give overall statistics. Um, Best Buddies programs now engage participants in each of the 50 United States and in, in over Canada. Yeah, in Canada as well, and in over 47 countries, impacting over 1.3 million people worldwide. Yeah. So it is pretty substantive, although I don't generally hear much about it, but I'm, I'm glad that we've been able to do this, but I haven't really heard a lot about Best Buddies outside of um, being introduced to Best Buddies people by Sheldon, which I really am grateful to be able to do um, because I like the message. You clearly send the message that I think I and other people with disabilities send, which is we're as capable as anyone else. Stop limiting us with your own attitudes and beliefs. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it's true. And one very interesting fact about what is happening right now with Best Buddies uh, International, it is um, they have its National Disability Employment Awareness Month. Right. And they call it N-D-E-A-M. Indeem. Indeem, yeah. And it's basically to have people, you know, just trying to get everybody employed. 
It's a very big part of um, the uh, Best Buddies in the U.S. is to, they have wonderful programs. You know what the unemployment rate among people with Down syndrome is? No. I don't know that <laughs> statistic either. Yeah. I'm, <clears throat> We have we have many families whose children uh, or adult, young adults are at home and do not have employment. And like when, as Jessica mentioned, when she was in the last documentary, they helped her get a job at a place called Malabar, the costume rental store, and she absolutely loved it. I loved it. But then COVID happened; it was closed down, and then yeah, it was closed for good after that. So she uh-huh. lost her job. Lost her job she yeah. loved it. Absolutely I loved, it, though, loved yeah. the job. Loved it. One you just wanted to go try on costumes. but oh and also i also got to meet a celebrity Mm -hmm, there that came in in. he was an actor from the show victorious Mm -hmm. he played beck on the show Mm -hmm. (laughs) say that too loud (laughs) yeah Yeah, i got to meet him yeah Um, cool on the topic of employment, I just wanted to quickly mention, um, I was an ambassador for the Discover Ability Network. So any viewers listening in from Ontario, this is a free service paid for by the government uh, for employees with disabilities to connect them to employers looking to hire inclusively. So Discover Ability Network, feel free to check that out later. Mm-hmm. And Jessica with FCB Canada, um, she did a public service announcement and they one of the things they helped create was a what 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 did, what did you guys create on um, oh uh we um Great. we wanted to be employable mm-hmm. employable yeah yes employable and so they created the first linkedin linkedin network, network for people for, with down syndrome yes ah mm-hmm. now what organization was that again but fcb canada yeah. what is fcb um, it, it's just one of the um, advertising agencies in, I'm not sure what FCB stands for. That's what I was wondering. That yeah. I'm going to look that up. And then with the um, uh, Canadian Down Syndrome Society. So uh, it doesn't say FCB. It just says FCB Canada. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, wonderful, okay. wonderful people. And really um, nice. yeah, so the employable. So anybody who has Down Syndrome and would like to connect to it, it is a LinkedIn page. Uh, specifically for um, people with um, Down syndrome. Yes. Mm-hmm. What does it stand for? No Long name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Full That's service it. integrated marketing and communications agency with offices in Toronto and Montreal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is is cool. Well, let me ask. Um, Jessica, what are your long-term plans? I mean, so you do mm-hmm. art, you do modeling and a number of different things. Do you just want to continue that? Do you have any kind of long-term goals in life? I do have one. <laughs> I, know I know what that is. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> to move out of my yeah. house. To move out of this house. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That, that's the problem, you know, Michael, is yes, Jessica wants to move out of her house, but, you know, it's um, financially, she would own. never be able to. That's the mm-hmm. unfortunate thing because... She doesn't have the income to be able to move out of her home, our home. So she is forced to live with us until, yeah. you know, um, maybe we could, well, we're trying to get a business going with, for Jessica with her, with her um, heart design yeah. and, um, and her cards and socks. Well, I am 25 so, yeah. right now and I, I want to move out. Yeah, I don't blame so that. So then I can live on my own. You know, some people, I would blame the economy. So I mean, I, I, I certainly blame the economy. <laughs> Yeah, it's very expensive to live in Toronto. So uh, mm-hmm. chances yeah. of definitely and I actually out. want to move closer to my work and your my the York school for my drama classes. Yeah, uh-huh. around that area. Mm-hmm. Well, you might you may find as time goes on, you'll be able to make more of a career out of some of the things that you're doing, which would really be exciting. No boys in your life, I gather, huh? No, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Whoa, that was a pretty no. definitive answer. I don't want. I don't want any. No, no. <laughs> I just want to live on my own with but, no boy. But Jessica, <laughs> how are we gonna dance at each other's weddings? I know that's what I think. Yeah, come on, I Jessica. They're gonna dance at each other's weddings, but she's gotta find a guy first. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seems like a reasonable thing to do, and you know, I'm, I'm. 
one of those people who's of the opinion there is somebody for everyone. So you just never know, Jessica. Yeah, yeah no, you'll never know. <laughs> we, well, we've already got Dorleen addressed. I mean, she's got a guy, so that works. Yeah. So, Lauren, what about you? What are your I, sort of long term goals and guys and all that? Definitely looking into um, buying a house in a few years, hopefully. Um, definitely working because I just started working after just graduating this year. So I want to find a salary position, something pretty good. And again, yeah, do a master's, um, become a psychotherapist, maybe, maybe do some more research, um, you know, start a family, yeah. <laughs> get married first, <laughs> uh, grow old and happy and healthy and make have, a difference in the world. Have yeah. you found the right person to get married to yet? Um, I, I hope so. I think so. I Still mean, working on that. Huh? He's, nice. he's our favorite. He's a keeper. That's well, mom, sure. mom blesses. So that's a good start. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's an extraordinary young man. Very nice. So yeah. for each of you question, what advice do you want to give to the world? Um, we've talked a lot about different things. And I know we've probably addressed some of the issues. But as we kind of bring this to a close, this has been going for a while. It's almost an hour. Can you believe it? No. But <laughs> Absolutely. What you're, kind of what kind of interviewer? <laughs> what kind of advice and suggestions would you like to um, leave people with? What kinds of thoughts? Um, let's start with Darlene. Well, my message is to young families. Um, when Jess goes in my arms in the hospital, uh, the doctor that came into the room to assess Jessica basically told me that I would grow to love her. <laughs> which just absolutely broke my heart. Yeah. And um, so to all the young families, you know, yes, it's a shock at the beginning when you when you're holding your, your child, and you know, the diagnosis, but life will be incredible, we could not ever imagine our life without Jessica, but also the people she has brought to our lives has been <laughs> A true blessing. It's been a blessing for us, you know, meeting people like Lauren, yes. Peter, um, and just all of Jessica's friends and the mothers that I've met and the yes. fathers, they're just beautiful people. So it'll be okay. That's, a, that's my message. It'll be okay. Have yeah. you ever had the opportunity to go back and see that doctor who said that? No, no, <laughs> I don't know what I'd say to him. And especially yeah. a couple of days later when we went to um, back to the hospital and then he used Jessica as a, a specimen for a fellow doctor um, <laughs> to uh, show the, the fellow doctor all the signs of that it's a baby with Down syndrome. Um, basically, I had a breakdown for a couple of days because, you know, that's is this the way my daughter was going to be perceived by the world? And, um, you know, yeah. we certainly have shown that no, she's not. She's a perfect person in our eyes and, and everybody's eyes that knows her. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Truly. So, so I don't, I don't want to do a lot of preaching myself this week, but I will make the comment that we've got to get beyond this idea that disability means lack of ability because it doesn't mean lack of ability at all. It's a characteristic and everyone has it, but you know, I hear what you're saying. My parents were told that they should send me away when it was discovered that I was blind and the same thing. And they rejected that. And I wish more parents would, would take that step to not just go by what science says, just because somebody is different. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. So Jessica, what kind of advice do you have for the world? How do you want to leave people thinking about you this week? So I would say be yourself and just, don't be afraid to um, meet new friends. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's all about, as you said, being yourself and having the courage to be yourself and don't let people talk you into something that isn't true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And don't let anyone tell you different. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, That's the real key, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. You know that what is, you want. Yep. Yeah. And, and if you don't know what you want, figure it out. <laughs> and uh, exactly. yes. use your best buddies and your friends, but figure it out because you can certainly want things just like anyone else. Yes. And, and you know, people don't have to be alone. And if you are alone, contact best buddies. Yeah. yeah. Really, they will help you. You don't have to be alone. It really is an amazing organization. Yeah. Right. And, Lo and Lauren, you, what kind of thoughts do you want to leave everyone with? Yeah. Um, 
if you can choose to be anything, be kind. That's it. And everything that you do. And if you are unsure how to be kind, research, ask questions, you know, and if you're thinking um, that you want to learn more about Best Buddies, then go to the website, reach yeah. out to us on Instagram. We very happy to share more and, and consider things that you can do in your everyday life that are simple, simple things that to spread that kindness and to make that Best Buddies impact of friendship and inclusion in whatever workplace you're in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking of Instagram, do you guys still do the live Instagram? Yes. We're going okay. to it's been a few months, maybe a year, but we will do more. We yeah. promise. It's just <laughs> been a crazy year with so many. You guys put on the Love Means event, then you yeah. did the World Down Syndrome Day event, now the yeah. documentary. Mm -hmm. It really has been advocating in different areas, yes. but very, very busy, which is wonderful. It's a wonderful life. Yeah. yeah. Well, Get I want to <laughs> <laughs> just go do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just make that phone call. Well, I want to thank all of you for being with us today on Unstoppable Mindset. Clearly, you're unstoppable, all three of you, um, especially as a team, but individually as well. And I want to thank you all for being here. And um, if you know other people who we ought to bring on as a guest on Unstoppable Mindset, please let us know. And for all of you listening out there and watching, we would love to hear your thoughts about any other guests that you'd like to have, as well as we'd like your thoughts. And I know Jessica, Lauren, and Darlene would like your thoughts also about this podcast. And actually, let me ask that question. If people want to reach out to you all directly, can they do that? And how would they do that? Uh, by email or your Instagram. Or Instagram. Yeah. What, what is um, your Instagram address or handle or how do people find you? Mine is uh, Jessica.Rotolo20. And Rotolo is R-O-T-O-L-O. Yes. So Jessica.Rotolo20. Yes. And mine is L-A-U-R-E-N-A-B-E-L-A-3. -E so you're the third Laura and Abella, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's and, <laughs> and Jessica's the 20th Rotolo. So. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> And well, I'm not cool. on Instagram, so everybody have to reach me through Jessica. Yes. Thank well, they have any I, questions. What about I, email? Sorry. What about email? No, or just I just I get too many emails. No, <laughs> yeah, they can reach out through Jessica's Instagram. So do it on Instagram. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Well, I hope people will reach out to you guys. We really appreciate it. And I want to thank everyone again for listening. We really appreciate you being here and listening with us. It's been a fun hour. Um, and that's one of the main goals of an unstoppable mindset. It's not just for us to have fun, but I hope that all of you listening had fun as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please email me at Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L-H-I, at accessibe, A C C E S S I B E dot com, or go to our podcast page, www.michaelhingson, H I N G S O N dot com slash podcast. And wherever you're listening, please give us a five star rating. We value greatly your reviews and we love those five star ratings and really appreciate you giving those to us. So please do so and reach out. We'd love to hear from you. And for Jessica, Lauren, and Darlene, once again, I want to thank you all for being here with us today. Thank you yes, so much, Michael. You. This was such a pleasure. Yeah, yes. it was truly an honor to be interviewed by you. And we really appreciate your time, too, to let us tell you about um, Best Buddies. Best Buddies. Best Buddies. The best organization ever. Yes. yes. <laughs> and Drama Week. Yeah. <laughs> and drop away too. But best buddies first. Yeah, yes. exactly.